do you want to build a creature power suit for? Pick a character. Koki! Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. Nice work! The dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. We need a body with wings that can fly in every direction. That's right! A dragonfly can rotate its wings forward and backwards. We need a head with incredibly large eyes to see at a wide angle. That's right! The dragonfly has 30,000 lenses on its eyes, so it actually sees 300 images per second. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! Wow! I feel so creature powery! Do you remember what makes each body part special? Tap on them and you'll find out. A dragonfly can rotate its wings forward and backwards. The dragonfly has 30,000 lenses on its eyes, so it actually sees 300 images per second. The dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs that help steer in the water and dig nests in the sand. That's right! The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. Nice work! flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a scaly head with a beak. That's right! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak, but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! You really know how to build a creature power suit! Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. Nice work! The dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. We need a scaly body that won't dry out in the desert. Nice work! The Gila monster's tough scales keep water inside its body so it doesn't dry out. We need a head with incredibly large eyes to see at a wide angle. Nice work! The dragonfly has 30,000 lenses on its eyes, so it actually sees 300 images per second. This creature power suit doesn't need a big tail, just a short furry one. power suit doesn't need a big tail, just a short furry one. Nice work! A grizzly bear's fur is super thick and helps keep it warm and dry even in the coldest of habitats, like Alaska. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! You really know how to build a creature power suit! Great job! Great job! Let's make a new power suit! We need short, thick legs with hairy feet and sharp toenails. Nice work! The grizzly bears are big and heavy, but they can still run really fast. Their hind legs help them run almost as fast as a horse. We need a scaly body that won't dry out in the desert. That's right! The Gila monster's tough scales keep water inside its body so it doesn't dry out. We need a white feathery head with a sharp beak and keen eyes. Nice work! Bald eagles aren't really bald. They get their name from their short white head feathers, which make them look bald. We need a tail to help with balance during high-speed turns. That's right! The cheetah uses its tail for balance during high-speed turns. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! I could get 
get used to having creature powers like these. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need basic, short, furry legs because it never has to run very fast. That's right! The skunk doesn't need to run fast because it has a great defense. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. Nice work! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a scaly head with a beak. Nice work! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak, but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. We need a long, grabby tail for climbing. Nice work! The spider monkey's grabby tail is called a prehensile tail. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! This one is packed with creature powers! You did it! Great job! Aviva's Power Suit Maker. Click on the button to choose your mode of play. Who do you want to build a creature power suit for? Martin. Build your own creature power suit. Even one that combines the creature powers of different animals. Just drag the part you want onto the character. Get creative! Awesome! Cheetah's legs power him across the savanna at 72 miles per hour. I like that! The spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky spray defense. Cool! The aardvark's 12-inch long tongue goes right into the termite tongues. It's sticky, too! Awesome! The feathers in a bald eagle's tail are really strong and help to steer, break, and fly higher. Great creature power suit. Now let's test it in the wild. Pick a habitat. Ocean. Uh-oh. I do not suggest you take this creature power suit out in the ocean. You don't have any creature powers that will help you survive there. Savannah. I am loving this creature power suit. Some of the creature powers you put into this suit will help you here in the wide open grassy savanna. 